Good afternoon, Kempton Park, and welcome back to another episode of The Open Hour. Today we are starting a short series of episodes that will discuss buyers. We'll be looking at various types of buyers and we will also be giving tips and advice if you are a buyer on the buying process and what it takes to purchase a new home. Because it's Women's Month, we decided to discuss solo buyers first. Now, when I think about a solo buyer, I'm reminded of one of my first clients, a young woman uh, who's a single mother and has a very high power position in a large company and was looking for a secure home that she could build into something that her and her family could enjoy. So here are four steps to buying a home solo that I discussed with that first client of mine. Firstly, financial planning. It is of critical importance that we get you pre-qualified. And I don't mean by just looking at your gross income. We submit a copy of your ID, copy of your proof of residence, three month payslip and three month worth of bank statements. That way we can get a bond originator to assess exactly what kind of amount you would qualify for. And to top it off, once we do complete an offer to purchase, we'll be halfway to the finish line. Secondly, resale potential. This is of critical importance to you as the solo buyer. Well, to all buyers, but especially the solo buyer, because this will be your biggest financial asset and you need to know what it will go for if the need arises. So take into consideration the following items that your agent needs to discuss with you. Proximity to schools and shopping areas, access to main routes, and very importantly, future developments and if the area will be enclosed at some point. That brings us to the third step, safety and security. This could be quite a daunting thing and I remember for that first client of mine, it was. So we looked at various features in the area that she ended up buying in. It was an enclosed area. The guards were on duty for 24 hours of the day. The property that she actually ended up buying had a security system and that was connected to an armed response. These are items that you need to consider whether you are buying in a neighborhood, a complex or in an estate. Lastly, maintenance. It's very important that if you find the perfect home but it needs a lot of TLC, you reconsider very, very carefully. If maintenance issues like gardening, painting, or just general upkeep of the property won't be very time consuming, take a lot of effort or cost a lot of money, then it would be worth it to continue with a purchase. But if it does cost a lot of money, take a lot of effort and consumes a lot of your time as a solo buyer, just leave it alone. And that's it, Kempton Park. Thank you very much for your time again today. And as always, keep it classy.